in uh, this physics lesson, we're going to be talking about um, the differences between electric potential energy, electric potential, and potential difference. And we're going to start off with electric potential energy. And this is um, potential energy that comes from the Coulomb forces and is also related to the configuration of uh, of charges within a system. Um, th this depends on two basic elements, which is the object's actual charge as well as as well as the position as well as its position. So the actual charge of the object and where it's located. Um, now we're going to talk about electric potential, and electric potential is is a point where the electric potential energy is, would have been located at the point. It's equal to you use the unit measured for electrical potential is uh, joules, and it's at a point equal to the electric potential energy. So it's located where the electric potential energy is, and um, it's divided by the charge of the particle. That's the actual law. Um, uh, objects have a certain characteristic called electric charge and the f electric field puts a force on these charges and, and makes them move faster towards the, lo the direction of the force so it makes it accelerate and uh, that's basically what electric potential is um, potential difference is relates to uh, this uh, relates to the other two factors of electric potential and electric potential energy. And uh, in simple terms, it's the difference between the difference the difference of the energy between the two locations. So if if once one pole is standing, one pole of energy is standing on one side and the other is at, an, at another side, those are two separate locations. Once you subtract those locations from each other, that will give you your potential difference. Um, the flow of electricity is related to the potential difference. So, let's say they're both they're both they both have the same uh, both pole ends of the poles have the same energy level. The, uh, if you subtract them from each other, the potential difference is zero. So you will have no potential difference, which would mean there is no uh, actual flow of current. But if they're different from each other, let's say you have eight and two, your potential difference will be six. You'll you'll still have a flow of energy, and that is potential difference.